children. Okay. <clears throat> the Black Forest. You all heard about the Black Forest. Well, this is not the Black Forest, but we're not so far away. It's somewhere on the left. This is not a huge forest. For you, it's peanuts. It's very tiny. But it's very famous because of all the stories. People are afraid of the stories because who lived there? Hans and Gurdle. And uh, the, the thing with the red hat. What do you call it? <laughs> this little girl with the red hat in the roof. Uh, that one. Yeah. Right. And in the old days, there were all kinds of mean animals living. Everybody was afraid to penetrate in this dark forest. And they are the same trees as you can see here, but their trees are much higher and very old. So the birth of the name Black Forest comes because it looked on grey days really black. And they said, oh my god, this creepy black forest. That is the birth of the name and all the legends. So the first who penetrated into the forest were monks. Anyway, the story, real happy story. So we go back to the 1913. 1913 and for the Germans but also for us but perhaps even more for the Germans Christmas is really the most important day as well as for us but they are more known because of the Christmas markets and the beautiful Christmas decoration illumination now we have it nearly everywhere so as well for them so you have to imagine a family living on the edge of the Black Forest. Winter, snow, cold outside. But inside was very nice and warm. There was a chimney. And the family was living there. Papa, Forrester, heart of gold. The best papa you could wish. Mama, beautiful, caring, a real mom. She was doing everything for her kids. The two children, a boy of 10 and a girl of eight. And Christmas Eve was the most important day. You have to imagine it was not the family very rich, not at all, but they were rich because they were a very happy family. That is, of course, the real wealth in life. And you have to imagine Christmas tree, little presents underneath the Christmas tree, the chimney. They were not the wealthy, so they had normal spoon, spoon and forks, no, uh, normal glasses and and always that is what they eat the turkey for Christmas and they were always singing Christmas songs and Papa could play very well piano so they were always singing the Christmas songs and the kids always said Papa, Papa, please can you sing our favorite song and the sing favorite song you all know but it is born on the platform it goes like this Musiden, Musiden, du Sure. 